Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to take a look at an article dated November 27th of 2020. It goes on to say that the Earth and apparently the Sun have moved once again with respect to their position in the Milky Way galaxy. I remember years ago looking at a map of the Milky Way galaxy and, and it would look very much like this one here you see and, and an arrow pointing to the outer spiral arm of the galaxy saying you are here and it would be out here in this far-reaching arm. The Milky Way galaxy is known as a spiral galaxy. We were always out here on the edge. Now, apparently, I don't know if we've been miscalculating all along, but apparently we are a lot closer to the center of the Milky Way galaxy than we ever realized. We're going to come back and take a closer look at that article here in just a moment. Also in this video, I have a brand new picture slideshow, new high octane photos sent in from all around the world. But first here at the website, I want to check out the Schumann resonance. All in all, looks pretty quiet. A little bit of activity here and there. That can be traced back to this very large active region on the Earth facing side of the sun. You can see two very large, actually one very large sunspot. And one that's growing, these have the potential to produce at least M-class flares. Don't be surprised if an X-flare comes out of that very active region in the coming days. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera. Another day at the office. This is the new norm. A steady flow of activity around the, the caldera of the supervolcano, albeit small, but nevertheless, it's there on a daily basis. And here recently we've been seeing earthquake activity. Once again, the red vertical signatures are implying small earthquakes over here in this region. And at the lake seismo, for reasons unknown, there is an absence of data. That could be a mechanical glitch. Don't know, but either way, another day at the supervolcano Caldera. Now I want to go over to sciencealert.com, article dated November 27th of 2020. It says Earth is a whole lot closer to our galaxy's supermassive black hole than we thought. It seems that the Earth has been misplaced. And I want to stop there for just a second because I remember many, many years ago, like I said at the beginning, looking at maps of the Milky Way and there'd be that arrow pointing here to the outer far reaching arm of the Milky Way galaxy as our position in the galaxy. Well, apparently that was not correct. This one is not correct. Moving us in from this outer arm into this inner section here. Apparently we're even closer than what you see there. Article goes on to say, I'm just gonna read it just parts of it and you guys can read the rest if you wish it's linked below down in the description box according to a new map of the milky way galaxy the solar system's position isn't where we thought it was not only is it closer to the galactic center and the supermassive hole therein sagittarius a it's orbiting at a faster clip it's nothing to be concerned about we're not actually moving closer to sagittarius a and we're in no danger of being slurped up the article goes on to say Rather, our map of the Milky Way has been adjusted, more accurately identifying where we've been, apparently, all along. Again, I want to emphasize, that's a long ways to, to assume that we're way out here. And now, according to this article, let me scroll down to the map, we are way over in here. So instead of being in this outer spiral arm, like I remember years ago, and leave a comment down in the comment section if you also remember those maps. I remember them as if I was looking at them yesterday. The Earth, and obviously the Sun, being out here in the far reaching arm of the spiral galaxy of the Milky Way. Now, we are way in here. Another 2,000 light years closer to the center of the galaxy is, is basically what this story sums up than originally thought. And they're using new instrumentation, apparently out of Japan. And back in 1985, we were, according to calculations, 27,700 light years from the center. Now, according to new calculations, we're 25,800 light years from the center of the Milky Way galaxy. But the thing I found most interesting was I remember crystal clearly us always being in the outer arm of the Milky Way galaxy or pretty close to it, never in that close. That's a long ways away. And the Milky Way galaxy is approximately 100,000 light years across. So we are much closer to the center of the galaxy than originally thought. But leave a comment down below if you guys remember being farther out 
on this outer edge and see this movement line I put on here this is how I understand it anyway how the the Sun and of course we travel with the Sun through the Milky Way galaxy this is how we move through the galaxy this is the ecliptic plane if we were looking at the galaxy from an edge field of view the Sun goes down up across the ecliptic plane and then back down our position right now and as part of this whole ascension process we are up here the Sun is above and it's at its peak above the ecliptic plane of the Milky Way galaxy that's where the ascension process comes from we're way up here so that's my understanding guys I just wanted to share that with you according to sciencealert.com our understanding of our position in the Milky Way galaxy has also changed. We're not even here anymore. We're a lot closer than what that map's even showing. But again, please leave a comment if you remember Earth being on the far reaches of the Milky Way galaxy spiral arm. I want to share this photo that was sent in by Teresa T. out of Shelton, Washington. Some sort of a very strange looking tomato. She had never seen one quite like this. It almost looks like it has horns. She said it tasted delicious, but she took a photo of it as she had never seen one look quite so strange. Now I've got a brand new picture slideshow I want to share with you guys. New sky phenomena photos and videos sent in from all around the world. Tony, a strange orb he noticed in the nighttime sky. Little video clip there of it as it went behind the bank of clouds. Elfie out of Baja, California. Spectacular fiery orange sunset as the sun dives down below the horizon looking out over the Pacific Ocean Guido out of the Netherlands yet another fiery orange sunset Orlando Florida this little video clip was sent in by Jeff and pay attention to the center of the video there's a very dark object here that's not an airplane not a helicopter and it's leaving a trail of black smoke behind it it's a little difficult to see right there it is see it right there what in the world is that? I found that super, super unusual, and so did he. Some sort of a jet black object in the early morning sky. Dubai. Francois sent in this photo of some spectacular roll clouds or gravity waves. Very, very low to the ground. Oregon flashback. Another fiery orange sky. And then it turned to almost a, a light orange, a maybe even a version of, of pink. Here's another photo out of Oregon by flashback. Colorful clouds in the proximity of the sun. North Las Vegas, Fred L. Got some clouds that look like ships parked in the sky above Las Vegas, Nevada. Here it is, same photo in a inverted format. And you can see the very smooth nature of those clouds. Faye and Lee out of Tennessee, more gravity wave-like looking clouds. Mary Hall sent this photo in from the International Space Station, looking down at planet Earth, and she noticed these very distinct round circles at the edge of an island somewhere on Earth. Don't know exactly where. They could be small volcanoes. Here's a photo. I actually took this one myself, a, a screen grab from the International Space Station, as I, too, was watching it for a few minutes the other day and I noticed these beams right here that were very obvious as the space station was flying over a section of the planet that I'm not sure exactly at the time where it was and Nara out of New Hampshire beautiful sunrise coming up over the horizon from New Hampshire. Here's another photo by Enora. I've got some big, beautiful beams spanning across the sky. Anthony M. out of Pueblo, Colorado. Very colorful clouds in the sky near the moon. Queensland, Australia. Aqua Smith. Big, gigantic jumbo halo around the sun. Very, very colorful as well. I found this one myself out here in Arizona as I stepped outside to get some air. Noticed a big jumbo halo in the sky. Carlos Skywatcher out of Portugal. That almost looks like a mask or something up in the sky. A face looking down out of the clouds. Chris S., not exactly sure of the location, but those clouds look like a row of little ships just parked in the sky. Here we've got some sort of a mysterious craft sent in by Dylan out of Philadelphia. Now I want you to pay attention to this craft over here next to the, the, the flagpole. Not this one up here. That's an airplane. It's this one here. And you're going to see this thing dart to the right. Check this out. Great observation by Dylan out of Philadelphia. Watch this thing move. Get ready. He started filming it when he first saw it move. And then it does it again. Check this out. Get ready, here it comes. See that? What in the world? 
that's not an airplane, that's not a helicopter. And that's what got his attention was when it darted across the sky like that. Just an incredible video by Dylan. Once again, that's original speed. And then I zoom in to try to get a better look at this thing, whatever it was. And that was the, the best I could do. It was just a, a bright white light that made no noise that was moving laterally and stopping on a dime in the night sky. Great job, guys. Keep the photos coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website, and sometimes I'll use them in a video slideshow just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.